Okay. Oh, hi, Douglas. <laughs> hi, how are you again? <laughs> I'm good. Welcome back. So this, uh, this class is going to be about words, about O-U-G-H. We're going to just wait for a minute or two and okay. see if we get some more people to join us um, because a class with just one student um, mm -hmm. is going to go very fast. <laughs> okay. So it's rainy season right now in Brazil, is it? Yes, it is. How long usually, does usually on win in winter um, the winter season uh, rains a lot. Okay, how long is the winter season? Um, about three, four months. So it rains for three or four months? No, no. <laughs> the rain, uh, <laughs> the winter season. No, the winter season is about three months, but the raining, raining season about two months. Okay. Do you have trouble with flooding there, or it's just a normal uh, way of being? So um, people know not to build in flood areas. <laughs> No, we have so much problem. Uh, in in some, I live in São Paulo. In São Paulo, we have some problems near my house. There is some flooded areas, and I think the most uh, the most uh, area that is flooded and is on the news all the time is in Rio de Janeiro. Oh yeah, yeah. Hmm. In Rio de in Janeiro. In Canada, um, we have had a problem in a western uh, city called Calgary. Um, terrible flooding, which is unheard of. There's never been flooding like that there before. Uh, so many, many people were, uh, were pretty surprised. And uh, yeah, we're not used to that. <laughs> we're not used to having a rainy season. <laughs> yes, we get and snow. <laughs> and they, <laughs> They usually uh, people have uh, lost everything, so um, we have to donate something, uh, yeah. food, and some money to help them yeah. to rebuild their houses and to start a new life. Yeah, yeah, it's really tough. We have a new person here with us. I'm sorry, I don't know how to even begin to pronounce your name. <laughs> it is okay. <laughs> Hi, and uh, just wait. Hi. Josue? Mm -hmm. That's, that's Josue? correct. Okay. I'll just write that down phonetically so I can remember. Good. Welcome, Josue. Where are you from? I'm from Italy. Oh. And is it rainy season in Italy or is it nice weather? Uh, no, it is not really a raining, a raining season, but. It is not actually a nice weather. It was <laughs> raining before. There was a okay. big storm, oh. and uh, but now it is quite good. While it is night, so it is not that yeah. bad. Okay, what time is it there for you? Um, two a.m. Oh, you should be sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we we'll try I, I and. We'll try and make this fun. Uh, this is a fun topic. I don't know if you heard what I was going to be doing, but there are some English words that have O-U-G-H in them, mm. and there is no rules about how to pronounce these. So we're going to look at these words and just try to remember them. There are a couple of uh, pointers I can give you for some, um, but anyway, I'm going to do a screen share. And I also have two worksheets that are posted in the chat. And anybody who's viewing right now, it would be great if you'd come and join us. It's more fun to have more people in the class. And we have Luis. Hello. Welcome, Luis. How are Hello. you? I'm fine, Joe. 
good. I'm very well. Thank you. And we have, um, is that Zoran? Bao? Zoran? I don't know if I'm saying your name correctly. I'm sorry, could you repeat? Yeah, yes, uh, you said it right. Okay, good. Uh, Zoran. Zoran? All right, excellent. And where are you from? I'm from China. From China. Okay, well, welcome from China. Okay, so I'm going to get to my screen okay. share, I hope. Okay. All right, so we'll start. These are words containing O U G H. So, uh, Douglas, can you read what the sentence says for me, please? Yes. Uh, all these words have the sound. I, I can read O T. It. Yeah, o -T. it's a terrible font. I didn't choose this font. <laughs> OT, so as in pot. As in pot, yes. Ot as in pot. Okay, and we've got uh, Hubert. Hello. Welcome again. Hubert, are you there? I can't hear you. Make sure that your microphone is not on mute. Okay, so here's some words. Okay. Uh, Zoran, which, what, how is this word said? Please say it for me. Thought. Thought. <coughs> say it again. Thought. Good. Okay. Everybody say thought. 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 Good. Okay. Next word. Luis, what's this word? Rot. Rot, yes. So everybody knows what a thought is, correct? Yeah. I have a thought in my head. But does yeah. anybody know what rot means? Uh, right. Uh, the, the past uh, is uh, right. Oh, that's an interesting idea. I can understand how you would think that. But no, the past of right is rote. This is rot. And something that has uh, uh, been worked or something like that? Uh, the, the, the past time of work. No, it's not the past of anything. <laughs> it's, oh. um, it's what somebody has done. It's what they've mm -hmm. wrought. It's what they've done. Mm. Okay? That's what this word means. It's not used very often in English. Um, it is an English word, and it's used mostly in poetry. It's old, old word that is not used in common speech anymore. Is something like shaped? Um, yes. That you're thinking of like wrought iron. I, I guess I guess wrought I, I, iron is shaped iron, so yeah. I understand, and I'm not sure if it's the same spelling. I didn't look that up. When I did look the word up in the dictionary, it did not have that as one of the possibilities, but it's possible. Good thought. Very good. Okay, the next word uh, is for Hubert. Um, brought. Brought. Everybody knows what brought means? Yes. Okay, so what does brought mean? Past tense of the bring. The past tense of? of bring. Bring, yes. Good. Bring. Excellent. Bring. Yes, it is. Okay, the next one. Uh, who's next? Um, Josue? Uh, Hot. Not hot. There's hot. no H. It's just ought. Hot. Try not to put the H in there. It's not hot. It's mm -hmm. ought. Ought. Good. Yes. Mm. Ought. Mm. And what does ought mean? Anybody? Dirty. Hot. 
Something I should. Yeah, something I should do. I ought to go to sleep when it's 2 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got it. Okay. Uh, next one. And this is for Douglas. Bot. Bot. Good. And bot, what does it mean? Is the buy. Yes. Yes. Past tense of buy. Good. All right. And uh, Zoran, this next one. Sought. 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 And what does sought mean? Uh, it's the past tense of seek. Yes, good. Very good. And Luis? Fought. Fought, yes. And what does fought mean? Past tense of fight. Good. Uh, actually, I want to go back to that one again. This is uh, where you can always know how they're pronounced. When there's the T on the end, the O-U-G-H is always going to sound like ought. Ah, ought. Okay, with the T on the end. And then the rest of them, there is no rhyme or reason. We'll go on to them. So, these words containing O-U-G-H. Uh, Luis, read this sentence, please. Okay. All these words have the sound of, as in stuff. 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 So it's uff. Stuff. Everybody say uff. 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 Good. Mm -hmm. All right. So now these words are going to be uff. Hubert, say this word. En en enough. Enough, yes. And what does enough mean? Anybody? Hmm. Mm. Well, to have enough of something, to have, um, a necessary. Word. Can anybody think of another word that means the same? Mm. Qualified. Uh, it's, uh, it's sufficient? Like, yes, sufficient. Yes, that sufficient. was the word I was trying for. Sufficient. It's enough. Mm -hmm. It's sufficient. Good. Okay, uh, Josue? Okay, um, rough. Rough. Mm -hmm. And the meaning of rough? Uh, that's something of, that is not nice, uh, rude, something like that. Okay, any other meaning? What's the opposite of rough? Smooth. Smooth, yeah, yeah. smooth. Rough smooth. and smooth is the opposite. Mm. So tree bark is rough. Okay, and a mirror is smooth. Who's next? I've forgotten who I was at. Just way? Were you next? Go ahead, do it. <laughs> yes, yeah, also the next one. Did you do rough? Yes. yes. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. It's I get okay. lost. Douglas. Uh, it, this first letter is T. T, yes. Isn't T. Tough. 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 What does tough mean? Difficult. Okay, yes, difficult. Hard. Hard. Okay, good. The F words. Now, the next one. Uh, Joran, read the sentence. This word has a, a long, long U as in through. Through, yes. Okay. So, Luis, this word? Through. 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 Good. And what does through, through mean? 
I need the help. <laughs> uh, are, okay. are they are they two has the same pronunciation? Through, through, through. But what does it mean? There are several meanings of this word. Yes, mm. for example, uh, I don't know the meaning, but I can I can give you an example. Mm. You okay. can pass. I can give you you ex an example. You can through uh, mm. through uh, pass the street through two cars. I don't know. Could you, you say that again, please? You can across the street through two cars. Across the street. Two cars. Oh yes, going Vial. from one Vial. side to another one. Mm -hmm. Completely. Okay, all right, yeah. I would say you can go through the door. Yeah, you can pass by something. Okay, well from it's not pass by, it's going through it. You go, um, uh, you would go through a room, you would go through a door, you would go through a cave. So you're going into something and across and out the other side. Okay. So that's to go through. The other meaning of through can be finished. I'm through. I'm done. I'm finished. It's also a way okay. of uh, meaning. Okay? Okay. Good. Was there only one on that one? Hmm. Okay. And another one. And uh, I think it's Luis's turn to read the sentence, please. These words have a long hold. As, as in go. As go. in go, yeah, go. good. So, uh, Hubert? And dog. Though. Though. Though, yes. Anybody know what the word though means? No. <laughs> okay. It's actually a shortened version of, of although. Although. Although, yeah. Although. Okay. So it's. Um, I want to go to uh, the show, although my mother has told me I need to stay inside. Although. Okay. And the next one is although. Hmm. I didn't put this slide together. <laughs> okay, so uh, Josue, say this word. Um, although. Yes. Although. Although. Okay. Good. And Douglas, this word. Dough. 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 So what does do mean? I don't know. I haven't heard before. That's okay. Anybody know? Anybody got an idea? Money. Yes, it's slang for money. It's a slang, and lots of people will say that. You know, I've got the dough. But oh. <laughs> somebody who bakes bread pasta. would would use dough or pasta dough. It's the flour and water um, that mixes together and it makes dough. Okay. Okay. And we have uh, uh, Zeli with us. Hello, Zeli. Zeli, I don't hear you. Make sure your uh, microphone is not on mute. Okay, let's see what else they've got for us here. Uh, Josue, can you read the uh, sentence for me, please? Yes. Uh, words containing, okay. Uh, these words end with a sound, A, as in the article above. So, A, as in the article above. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah. Ah. Mm -hmm. Well, now this is a problem because um, what they're talking about here is is British English, and we actually don't pronounce it like a ah, boat. How how would you pronounce this word? Anybody? Try it out. Uh, Douglas, try this word. Sora? Sora? Thorough. Thorough. Yes. Thorough. So it's an O sound and not an A ah sound. But the British would say thorough. Thorough. Uh, okay. Okay, so we say thorough. 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 Yes. And does anybody know what thorough means? Mm, complete, uh, completely. Yeah, that's that's a good uh, a good way to think of it. Is completely. I've I was very thorough in um, when I went through the books. So I I did it very carefully and thorough. I did it all. I completed it. Okay, and uh, Zoran, this word? Borrow. Borrow, yeah. Any idea what a borrow is? It's Anybody? A pa past tense of a borrow? No, it's not a past oh. tense in this case. Um, okay, who said that? Luis, did you say something? Town. A town. town. Um, did you say town? T O W N? T O W N. Yes. It's part of a town. A borough is part of a town. So in a town might be divided up into different boroughs. And that's the borough. Good. Mm -hmm. Neighborhood. Yes, it's a neighborhoods. Latin word. Is it? A Latin word. It could very well be. Uh, Borgo. Mm -hmm. Okay, makes sense. Okay, we have another one. Okay, Luis, I think it's your turn to read the sentence. Okay, these words end with the sound of. Okay. Hubert? What's this word? Cough. Cough. It sounds like off. You're not going to make the O sound. Cough. It's not cough. It's cough. Try it again. Cough. Good, yes. Everybody cough. say cough. Like cough. 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 Good. And what's a cough? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Everybody knows how to cough. Good. Okay, and the next one is uh, for Josue. Josue? Um, hi, uh, trough. Trough, yes. Mm -hmm. Does anybody know what a trough is? No. <laughs> mm, uh, a pipe? It's like a half pipe. And it's open on one side. Now, sometimes troughs can be used to put water in for animals to drink from. But mm. also, it's an eaves trough is the pipe that goes along the edge of your roof to catch the rainwater. That yeah, would yeah. be a trough as well, an eaves trough. I got it. Good. There's so many of them. Unbelievable. All these words. <laughs> uh, Hubert, can you read uh, the sentence, please? Um, this words end with the sound O. Ow. Cow. 
Cow. Cow. Cow. Owl. Okay. Nothing. Cow. Josue, what's this word? Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, bow. Bow, yes. Bow. And what does bow mean? <laughs> I don't know that. Branch. Branches, yes. Branch. It's a branch of a tree. It's a bow. But it's not what you do when a lady curtsies and a man bows. That's a different spelling. This bow is um, a branch of a tree. Good. And Douglas, this word. Plow. Plow, yes. And what does plow mean? I never heard. Never heard this oh. word? Okay. Anybody? Anybody? No farmers? Nobody here farms? Because a farmer uses a plow. It's how he digs up the soil when he's going to plant his crops. He plows the soil. So plow can be a verb or it can be a noun because he plows the soil with a plow. Yes, I got it. Okay, I took good. an image. I, I took an image on on Google. Okay. Did you get a picture? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna show you this sentence. And let's see. I'm gonna have a uh, Zoran. I want you to try reading this sentence and try to figure out what uh, pronunciation for the O U G H words are supposed to be there. Go ahead, try it. Zoran, are you there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, arrow, arrow, coated, dull faced, thoughtful, plow man. Strode through the streets of Scarborough. After falling into a slough, he caught, coughed, and uh, uh, he coughed. What was that? <laughs> Try it. Just sound it out. Uh, he coughed. And? Uh, and uh, uh, he high, high coughed. Okay, good. Good try. All right. Luis, you try it now, please. My God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try. Go, that's all you have to do is just try, and I'll show you what it is uh, at the end. Everybody's going to try. Go ahead. A half coated dark face. How thoughtful fast man strolled through the street of Scarborough after falling into his lap, he coughed and recoughed. Okay, good Excuse try. Me. Excuse me. <laughs> that was a good try. I don't expect anybody to get it all right. <laughs> Uh, Hubert, go ahead, try it out. Okay, uh, a rough coated dove, dove faced, uh, doleful, low man uh, strode through the streets of Scarborough after falling into a slog. He coded and Oh, I know <laughs> okay, no, it's a really funny one, and you're gonna laugh when I show you the pronunciation. It's actually um, this word and this word we haven't seen before, and they have completely different pronunciations than any of the others. Okay, Josue, 
Go ahead. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not really ahead, but well, um, um, Ralph quoted uh, that uh, face it, no, though face it, uh, thought, thoughtful plankman strode through the streets of Scarborough after falling into a slab. He caught and he caught, I don't know. That. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good try. Excellent. Douglas, go ahead. A rough coated, dull faced, thoughtful plowman strode through the street of Scar Scarborough. Of falling into a slough, he caught, caught, caught it, and I caught. <laughs> okay, good. Everybody did a really good try. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how it sounds. It's not spelled right, but this is the sounds. A little easier. So, oh. Toran. Read what we have here. Uh, a rough coated, dull faced, uh, thoughtful plowman strode uh, through the streets of Scarborough after falling into a slow slow slough. He, slew. Slew. he yeah. co coughed and uh, he coughed. Okay, good. So Taking a look at these, a rough coated, a rough coated, doe faced, thoughtful plowman strode through the streets of Scarborough. After falling into a slough, he coughed and hiccuped. And now, how that can be pronounced hiccuped? I have no idea. <laughs> but this is the craziness of English. Sometimes it is nuts. Okay, Luis, read this and and try to get the pronunciation as it shows in this um, sentence. Go ahead. The whole sentence? Yeah, say the whole sentence just so that you can... Um, um, practice the pronunciation. So just read this sentence. Okay. A rough coated, dull faced, thoughtful plowman strode through the streets of Scarborough. After falling into a slew, he coughed and recapped. Hiccuped. Recapped. Hic Hi hiccuped. hiccuped, yes, hiccuped. Sharpy, sharpy, hiccuped. <laughs> yes, hiccuped. And hiccuped. this here is plow, plowman, plowman, yeah, plowman. Good. Okay, Hubert, you try it. Okay. Uh, rough coated, though face it, thoughtful plowman, stroll through. The street of Scarborough. After falling into a slow slew, a slew, yes, a slew, she coughed and hiccuped. Good. Okay. Just wait. Mm, okay. Um, a rough coated, dull faced, uh, thoughtful plowman strode through the streets of Scarborough. After falling into a slew, it coughed and it coughed. Good. And Douglas? A rough coat to the dewy faced, thoughtful Do plowman. Doe faced. Doe faced plowman strode through the streets of Scarborough. After falling into, his, into a slew, he coughed and recapped. Hiccuped. 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 Yes. Hiccuped. Anybody know what hiccup is? I know this sound. It's a sound. It's like... <laughs> yeah. Sometimes if you do it involuntarily. It's repetitive. You go... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Everybody, I think, does it. <laughs> That's a hiccup. And a hiccup is spelled H-I-C-C-O-U-G-H. -C -C hiccup. Go figure. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so let's take a look. I've got a couple of... Um, I've got a story and a Don't poem. Don't you read it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry? Uh, could, could you read it, please? Read the oh, sentence? Uh, yes. That, that's okay, what, uh, sure. <laughs> I can do that. Sorry. It is not a test, of course. <laughs> no, no. A rough-coated, doe-faced, thoughtful plowman strode through the streets of Scarborough. After falling into a slough, he coughed and hiccuped. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, actually all of you did very well after uh, we looked at the um, phonetical version. Uh, there we go. Um, yeah, there was something else I was going to do. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Similar kind of thing. It is a, um, a story that is nonsense. It doesn't mean anything, but it gives you some practice using these words. So we're going to... Um, i got to get it on the screen share now. There it is. Okay. All right. So, Zoran, you're going to do sentence one, Luis, sentence two. It's a short one, but we're just going to take turns reading the sentences, okay? So, Zoran, go ahead. Do the first sentence. Once upon a time, there was an English student who thought that he could find enough tough dough to fill his burrow. Oh, good. Very well done. Luis, the next sentence. He sought for it everywhere. Okay, what does sought mean? Sought. Seek. Okay, can anybody think of a more common word that we would use there? Search. Look for this. Looked. Yeah, he looked for it everywhere, or he sought for it everywhere. Again, sought is a word used more in poetry than it is in everyday English. Okay, so Hubert, next sentence, please. Um, when? No. Yeah. When when he went to the store. He bought as much as he as he could. As Good. He could. Okay. And uh, Josue, the next one. From where? Uh, From while. Okay. Okay. I remember the student. I forget. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Uh, while on vacation, uh, he brought back some uh, from the neighboring cities. Okay, good. Neighbor, neighbor. Mm -hmm. Okay, Douglas, next. Uh, things were getting rough, and although he had a cold and a bad cough, he still managed to plow, to plow yeah. through the winter's thought he were well. Okay, that's not thought. There's no T on the end. It's thought. No, it, it's pronounced differently if there's no T on the end. That's low. Low. Uh, low. 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 Yeah, as okay. though he were well. So though in this case is if. So we okay. could say as if he were well. So though and if mean the same thing in this context. Okay. Okay. He continued his search. And uh, Zoran, the next sentence, please. Since, uh, can you point? 
uh, where after he continued his search. Uh, he continued his search. He fought long and hard. Good. He wrote. Uh, he wrote okay, night no, and day. It, it's it's uh, Luis's turn. We're doing it sentence oh, by yeah. sentence. That's yeah. okay, Luis. He fought long and hard. And you're doing the the next sentence, actually, Luis. Okay. He wrote night and day in his endeavor for enough fact, though. Okay, good. In this case, they've used rot here, and as far as I can see, it is wrong. It rot does not work in the context of the sentence. Whoever wrote it, I don't think knew what rot meant. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. We're just practicing how to pronounce these words. So uh, that was Hubert, was it? Uh, Josue next. Okay. Uh, finally, after many months, he thought uh, that is thorough. Uh, uh, I can't remember. Thorough. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. Such um, out to come. Uh, out to come and to an end. Good. Okay. And uh, Douglas. And one day it did, when by chance he came upon a very old tree. Keep going. Next to the tree was an old horse trough. Trough. Yes. Thaw. Good. It, yeah. No. And then Zoran, the next one. And uh, on the boards of the tree, he saw enough tough dough to fill his burrow. Good job. Okay. Mm. The end. Excellent. Well done. So there's the examples and the pronunciation. And I'm going to put this on my Facebook page so that uh, you can refer back to it in case you need it for these silly words. Could you link your Facebook page, please? Um, the f I don't know how to do that, but if you go on um, the Verbling and just uh, choose one of my classes, like take a look at one of my classes, uh -huh. at the bottom of, of it, it will say um, Teacher's Facebook page, and just click on that link. Okay. So I will you. put that in it. And then the last thing we have, uh, oh, somebody else has got it there for us. Thanks, Douglas. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's good. All right, so the next bit of reading we're going to do is a funny poem. Uh, this poem was written by a lady named Rosemary Chen, and I think that she wrote it for her students who were having problems with these um, O-U-G-H words. So again, we're going to do some uh, practicing. And I think it's, um, who is next? Who's ready? Who's supposed to read next? I think Luis? it's Luis. Luis? Okay. So, This is Enough is Enough by Rosemary Chen. Read the first um, stanza for me, please. First four lines. The oh, I'm sorry. You know what? I forgot to share it with you. I've got it up for me, but nobody else can see it. That's not too smart. Uh, there it is. Enough is enough. Yes, enough is enough. Oops. And we're going to read the first four lines for me, please, Luis. Four letters cause me disillusion. Oft makes phonetic confusion. Four simple, simple letters with four pronunciations make learning English thought for Asians. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you. Hubert, the next one, please. 
Just say O U G H mm -hmm. here. O has no logic, no rule, or rim, rhyme, or rhythm. Rhyme or rhyme rhythm. Or right, rhyme or rhythm. It will fool all who struggle to master expression. English may cause cause uh, thorough thorough separation. thorough, thorough. Separation. good okay and uh, just wait the next one okay um I pour some water in a throw I trough. sneeze trough I sneeze and splutter then I cough and with a rough uh, even um, bath, my mighty pay, pay, my mighty pay um, feels I plough. Okay, this is Patty. Patty. Mm -hmm. Yes. Patty. And uh, this word here is hewn. And what does it mean? Hewn. Mm -hmm. Hewn means um. If you were to take a tree and cut it down and want to make a board from the tree, you would have to take an axe and smooth the board, like cut the board so that it's uh, smooth, and you would use the axe to hew it. So you'd be um, cutting pieces of wood off with the axe until it is square. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. All right. So uh, it's Douglas next. Yeah. Uh, how do I pronounce these words? Is loaves? Loaves. Yes. Loaves. Loaves of warmer bread in a raw, crispy crusts and doffy dough. Okay, now my it. final. Now my final dirt to do, and then, and then. My chores will all be through. Okay, so this word here is doughy. So it's the same as dough, but you add a y on it, and it becomes an adjective. A and doughy dough. Sometimes we will describe some substance as feeling doughy, so it feels like dough. And dough really feels like dough because it is dough. <laughs> so it's doughy dough. <laughs> okay. Otherwise, everything else was good. All right. Uh, Zoran? Uh, my lament is finished. Even though learning this word game is really slow, it is so difficult, it's very rough. Learning English is really tough. Good. Thank you. And Luis? The next one. Luis? Did we I'm lose here. you? Excuse me. Okay. Here. That's okay. The last one, please. The last one, please. If a throw was a truth, and a plough was a plough, if dough was a duff, and thaw was a thuff, if cough was a cuff, and throw was a truff, I would not pretend or try to plough, but of of I've had enough. <laughs> okay, <My God>. good. <laughs> <laughs> so they're saying here all the different types of um, pronunciations. So if a trough was a trough and a plow was a pluff, if dough was duff and though was duff, if cough was cuff and through was rough 
I would not pretend or try to bluff. <laughs> okay, so all he is trying to do here is all of these words are said exactly the same on the end. Uh. Instead of O U G H being all these uh. different kinds of sounds. Okay, good job, guys. And that's um, the end of the uh, information that I had for you on this subject tonight. Um, but if there are any questions that you would like to ask me um, about Canada, about uh, anything that we've learned here, or any English questions that have been bugging you, please feel free to ask. Go ahead. Anybody? No, we have somebody new here. I don't know how to pronounce her name. Huang? Huang? Hello? Yes, hello. My name is Fu. You can call me Fu. Yes, okay. Fu? Okay. Yes. Do you have then, any? Uh, this is the first time I got the class at the first place. So, see how, uh, how to uh, use the. I can join with everybody in class. Okay, well, welcome to the class. It's almost yeah. over. We're just asking questions. If you have any questions you would like to ask me, and anybody else in the class, any questions? No, I just um, think no. some of these words are really, are really hard to to pronounce. It's yes, and, and lots of them I haven't heard before. And the thing with these words is, I can't give you any rules about how to pronounce any of them because there are no rules. I think what happened with English is it came from many different roots. We have um, like German language, we have uh, Latin, we have so many different influences in English and um, many of the rules come from these different languages and don't really apply in all cases. Yeah. Uh, I have a question. Yes. Uh, 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 they used uh, uh, some uh, different words with uh, similar meanings, uh, such as uh, they use uh, uh, sufficient to uh, to to express enough. Uh, you you did it uh, uh, right now. Uh, I want to ask uh, such such words. Uh, if they every of them has uh, a little difference, or they are just the same, and we can I can use uh, either of them. Um, can you tell me which words you are talking about? Uh, I, I mean, uh, in English, if there is uh, two words, they have same meaning, or they all have different, uh, different. Okay, in English, there are some words that um, the meanings are so similar, you could use either one of them. But sometimes uh, even a little bit of a difference will, um, will make a difference. So it depends on the word and it depends on the context. So if you were using, oh, what was one of the words that we did? Um, I can't remember now. So, uh, sorrow and complete. Uh, thorough, on. yes. Thorough and complete. Um, they would get used differently. Thorough is um, something that you do, hmm, like I would be thorough about cleaning the house. It means that I will do um, um, everything, everything. I'm thorough. But I will complete a paper. I will complete uh, a book, meaning I will finish it. But you can finish something you without being thorough. So there is a difference in that case. Mm -hmm. Am I clear or no? 
Yeah, uh, so if I want to use the word uh, exactly, I have to know uh, some similar words and uh, choose the, uh, the, the most, the rightest one. Yes, that would be best. And again, it depends so much on the context. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, I, um, I have uh, a actual question. Wang? Hello? Uh, can you hear me? Okay, can yes. You hear me? Are you talking to me? Okay. Uh, it's a long time I don't use English and uh, cannot speak with people. So uh, my English is yeah, not good and my vocabulary is not much. So uh, now I want to, um, and I think, I think uh, my um, trouble is pronunciation. So um, uh, sometimes everybody says, and I, I don't understand. Okay. Uh, how <laughs> you, you understand Un <laughs> Unfortunately, your connection is very bad, so I do not hear you clearly. Uh -huh. So it okay, is hard I... to understand you. I'm sorry. Okay, anyway, I can try. I can <laughs> try. I can I mean, uh, try again. The, um, the, uh, can you hear me clearly? I can hear you, but it is difficult to understand because the connection is bad. Anyway, people, um, I think we. Uh, are at the end now and uh, I will see you again hopefully in another lesson. I've got a lesson going on tomorrow about uh, space travel. Uh, there are people who are actually building spaceships that will carry um, people like you and me as long as we can pay for a ticket. So join me if you want to uh, learn a little more about space travel. And I'll see you then. Thanks for joining me. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay.